Okay, this is a little tutorial on tying origami wings. Okay, I'd like to try and show you how to make a origami wing. Uh, this is a technique from Danish fly tire Jens Pilgord, I believe. So we take our hackle, strip off the under fur, all the fuzz, trim that off so it's a little easier to handle. Then we strip off all the fibres, or most of them, we don't have to go right up to the tip from one side. So it's these long fibres here, when we pull them back, that will form the wing. But what we need to do first is to form the mayfly edge of the wing. So we pull these fibres out. take our long scissors and we cut this at a tapering angle. Like so. Then we make a little bend just at the point where the last cut one meets the full barbules. just like that. Then we take our, pull these over first, take our tweezers holding it, not quite right, I'm going to do that, oops, do that again. There we are, and then we take our tweezers here and we pull out to give it the mayfly, mayfly wing shape. Then we can take our tweezers and just push that down a little and adjust again. There's the wing. Then we need our tine thread. Catch that in between the fingers. Tighten up. Get that out of the way. Like so. Like so. Then we need to put a couple of half itches in it. twice like that then we can remove those now if you wish you can put just a tiny drop of UV resin there and give it a blast and then you do the same for the opposite wing and of course you tie them in as you would a wally wing or a very nice effect and what you can even do is you can, if you're tying realistic patterns, not for fishing, you can actually cover the whole thing uh, in UV resin, feed both your wings, it makes a very nice thing. There we go, origami wing, thanks for watching.